They are poor economically, but they are not poor in the mind. You understand? Many people are poor. That doesn't mean that they are poor in the mind, or they are poor in the values, or they are poor in the networks. No. So therefore, we said, let us build upon a resource in which poor people are rich. A resource in which poor people are rich. They may be rich in traditional knowledge. Even today, at least 60% of our country survives through traditional knowledge. Whether it's health, child care, women care, isn't it? How many deliveries take place in the hospital after all? That kind of so that is the traditional knowledge system which is making our children come in the world, be healthy and grow in the life. Many of you might have taken birth in your own homes, isn't it? Somebody must have had some of the arms, grandmother, somebody must have had. So there is a very joint, there is a very vibrant system in our country uh, of functional traditional knowledge. That traditional knowledge which is functional, which is scientifically valid. Though in many cases scientific evidence may not have been yet produced. So one strand of knowledge system that we have is traditional knowledge system. The second is contemporary knowledge system. Knowledge which has been produced in the recent past. So we do show the Atlas every summer, every winter. In summer we go to places which are hot. Winter we go to places which are cold. So the last show the Atlas, the 37th show the Atlas was in Arunachal Pradesh. We went there, some zero temperature towards the Chinese border. We met several innovators who had developed very creative solutions to global problems. Bamboo pressing machine, many things have been done. Now these innovations have happened in the last few years. They cannot be called as traditional knowledge. But there is a traditional way of knowing which is different from traditional knowledge. Traditional way of knowing is if there is a problem, time to experiment, find out how can it be solved, look at local materials, maybe there is a solution. So there are two knowledge strands which we started looking at, traditional knowledge, which may have been transferred from generation to generation. Though every generation may have made modifications. And second, contemporary knowledge, knowledge which has been produced by people in the recent past. A few days ago, a few months ago, individual or collective. Some solutions are developed, some innovations are developed by group, some by, by, by 